Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Microsoft Store error message 0x8007064A that something happened and this app couldn't be installed. Please try again, followed by error code message 0x8007064A. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then you want to go down underneath other and select the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter and the run button. And I'd recommend following along with the on-screen prompts here and see if that is able to help resolve the problem. So in our case, it just wanted us to create or sign in with a Microsoft account, which in your case, if that's you know applicable for you, go ahead and sign in. And if you're not using a Microsoft-based account, well, that certainly explains part of the problem. You're most likely associating with that error message. Something else we can take a look into as well, if we close out of here, open up the search menu, type in WS Reset, best match, should come back with WS Reset, go ahead and open that up, and give it a moment here. And then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. If you are still experiencing an issue, close out of here, open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in IP config, followed by a space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word, attached to that forward slash in our front. Hit enter on your keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed to the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. You want to go ahead and close out of here at this time and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.